Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add MIDI chords using menus in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to add MIDI chords to your project by downloading files and dragging them in to Reaper. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with the menus. So the first thing we'll do is open up a web browser and search Reaper Stash, which should take us to the Reaper Stash website. Then we'll search Chords and Scales, which should take us to this file right here. Choose it, and this is created by this user right here. So I want to thank them for putting in the work. And if we scroll down here, we'll see the instructions for installing it, but I'm going to include those in the info section of this video. And if we scroll back up, we can download the file right here. Then we can go to our hard drive. And here's that file we just downloaded. Double click it to unzip it, and it creates a folder right here. And then we could open up Reaper. So the next thing we're going to do is go up here and right click and choose Customize Toolbar. Then we'll change the toolbar or menu we want to adjust to MIDI Piano Roll Context, which is the right click menu when we're in the MIDI editor. This is the menu we'd normally see, and we're going to change it based on what we just downloaded. Go to Import. And here's the folder we just unzipped from this file. Open it up, and there's two files in here. We'll choose this one, which is going to replace the menu. We can see it right here, changed. So we can add these different scales, these different chords, and arpeggios. Now I like to add, after here, a separator. So it keeps it separate from the original menu. And we'll save it and close it. And now we'll go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, go into the section for the MIDI editor, and we're going to add some actions in here. Go to the Key Map, Import Shortcut Key Map, and choose the other file right here. Double click it, and that adds all these actions we're going to use to add chords, arpeggios, and even scales. Close it, and now we can create our MIDI. I already have a project set up with some backup music and a piano track ready to go. Let's hear it now. So I'm going to start off by creating a MIDI item. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just draw. Now if we double click it, it opens up the MIDI editor. And normally, we could draw notes right in here, like this, or delete them. But now, if we right click our menu, we get these other options over here. Before, it just looked like this. So you can insert at the mouse cursor or the edit cursor, which is two options I don't tend to use, and even insert a scale. Let's change this to 16th notes. Now if we right click, we can insert a scale right here, like a major scale. But I don't tend to use this function or these two options either. I tend to use the chords or the arpeggios. So what I prefer to do is right click up here, customize toolbar, and go back to the MIDI piano roll context and just delete a bunch of these options until we get down to inserting the chord. And then save it and close it. And now if we right click, 
It inserts chords right here or arpeggios. So let's change this back to whole notes. And let's add our first chord. The first note in this progression is an F. So right click right here, choose insert chord. We had a major chord right here. Then insert a major chord or a triad as an F major chord, which sounds like this. Then we had a G over here. Right click, insert chord, major, and that sounds like this. And the next chord is an A. Now, if you don't know the chords, you can always do this by trial and error. We'll go right here and right click, insert chord, major. But notice, it's not going to sound right. Because the A chord in this key is a minor. So this note should be down there. Let's undo it and instead just add a minor chord. And so chord minor, and that sounds like this. And then back to the G. Major. So the whole progression sounds like this. So now we can cut this up to adjust its rhythm. Let's select all. Let's change this to eighth notes. Duplicate it. To get this. Or. This. Or any rhythm we want. But instead, let's try out the arpeggio feature. Let's clear this. We'll go to the F. Right click. Insert arpeggio. And make it a major. So it's based on the major chord. So it goes through all the notes in the chord as an arpeggio. Do the same with the G. Major. And the A. As a minor. But I kind of preferred the chords. And my favorite use of this feature is making the chords more interesting. If you're not really good at playing chords besides triads or not at all, we could try things with more complicated or more interesting chords. So let's put this back to whole notes, go to our F, and this time we'll insert the chord, but we'll try out some other options. Maybe the major seventh. Let's hear that. That adds the seventh of the chord right there, making it sound more rich and more interesting. And for the next chord, the G, let's try major, but the sixth. And what that's going to do is it keeps the seventh from the first chord running through the second chord. So it's kind of pedaling through the progression. And it sounds like this. And for the A minor, let's try the minor chord with the minor seventh, which has the seventh up here. And when it goes back to.
to the G, let's give it some tension by using a suspended chord. Go back to the G, insert chord, and choose suspended right here. You do the second, the fourth, and the seventh and ninth. Let's just try the fourth, which sounds like this. Notice how it creates that tension where it wants to land on a new chord when the progression turns around. Let's hear it together. I think those chords sound more complex and more interesting for this song. This is a great way and a quick way of adding chords using the menus in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's how to add MIDI chords using menus in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. gonna break!